Howdy y'all, Joe Hills here, recording as I always do in Nashville, Tennessee. Now that I got my nice little stairway set up here, so everybody who wants to can go from spawn down the hill to this beautiful plains whenever they so please, I was thinking I should build a house somewhere over here. And what I got is a little tiny base right in there where I've been keeping just a little bit of building materials for the stairs. Building my tortoise materials would be altogether slower. And what I was realizing is maybe I should build like a house somewhere in the mountain facing out this way, connecting it to the stairs, kind of based on my previous entrance here. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to put the entrance right there and then have like a balcony or a window or something facing out this way. But I haven't exactly worked out all the details. So as you can see, when I arrive at my front door to my little temporary base, it's not even on level with this. So what I'm ultimately going to do, probably, is actually going to be to put the front door right here. Whoa. Why is my keyboard sticking? Okay, I did not intend to moonwalk backwards. Dang it, now... Uh, the whole reason I put these stairs in was so that... Is my keyboard still sticking? No. So what I'm probably going to do is put in another door here. Let's uh, real quickly... Oh, that is not nearly enough items. Let's see what kind of doors are available in this game. So many mod packs. Okay. Jungle door, birch door, spruce door. These all seem pretty basic. Door barricade. That's interesting, but apparently there's no recipe for it. Cypress door, amber door. Ooh, amber door. I need f amber bricks. How do I make amber bricks? Okay, so that's a dead end. Baobab, I gotta get some baobab trees. Eucalyptus door, mahogany door, moss bark. So it looks like what I might need to do to get some of these is just go find some crazy different types of trees that I don't have yet. And so that might be an adventure trip. I haven't really explored. If I hit J for my map, which, okay, apparently shows the options for my map. How do I, okay, there we are. So, as you can see, I haven't explored very far. We got a meteor out this way. We got that little cult area over here. Here's spawn. And everything else is all unexplored. I bet if I wandered out toward this, like, grayish area, or not grayish, uh, brownish area over here, I'd get something cool. My expedition toward this different landscape or biome a dead forest maybe or is that the name am I in a dead forest now I'm in a dead forest biome now if I go this way where do I end up a mountain biome and no this is called a dead forest and it's got some cool little lava effects here a lot of lava effects that's that's real good better stay clear of that and it's kind of dark here which is a good place for mobs to hang out we got great wood I want to collect rare types of wood to make dead wood. Can I? Oh, that's my favorite HBO show, except for all the other ones. So let me. Hey, Mr. Pig. Sorry, man. Let me see if I can use some of this dead wood to craft myself a special kind of door. Let's see what uses we have for dead wood. You can make wooden spikes. That's fun. You can make wooden chest plates. You can make a chest, apparently. Wooden boots, part builders. Well, so can does dead wood not turn into planks? Let's see. No. Okay. So we have found an interesting kind of wood that is totally worthless in our door hunt. There's some more amber there, copper there. Oh, hey, let's grab this coal because I did not think to pack any torches on my trip which is always a bad idea when you're building an expeditionary kit. Like I learned from Zisto several years ago, you should have like ladders and torches and all that stuff. And as you can see, I did not do any of that. And what is this over here? This seems to be magnanimous. Is this faster? Yeah, way faster. Okay, so that multi-tool is maybe not as multi as it, or multi, whatever. Okay, so I've got a magnanimous log. Let's quickly go ahead and make ourselves a magnanimous crafting table. And then magnanimously use it to construct a magnanimous door. 
And that's a default wooden door. Dang it. Okay, does magnanimous wood make anything special like that you can't make with the other wood? Let's try magna... Uh, planks, stairs, leaves, slabs, gems, apparently. How do you get these? From the gems. Okay. So, I'm wondering if this tree marks a dungeon or something? Well, in the very least, we can make some magnanimous sticks, and then make some magnanimous torches, and then not magnanimously die tonight. So let's also plant some torches here so mobs don't spawn. And what have we got here? This looks like an interesting type of forest. Maybe these could give us some good doors. Cherry wood. Yeah, that sounds nice. Let's grab some of that. Probably should have moved that crafting bench with me. That's a lesson learned for later. So if we go ahead and put these in here, use, whoops, shaped crafting, what kind of door do we get? Any kind of cherry wood door? Let's just, dang it, we're just going to search, it's faster. Dang it, no cherry wood door. Okay. And now it's daytime. Oh, no, it's the opposite. It is now nighttime. So we're going to go back to this magnanimous tree here and magnanimously go cave-in, I guess, and hope that we don't magnanimously die. So, quickly torching up around the entrance here, just to deter things from spawning in general around us or above us. I like that lava. It makes me feel safe. Okay, so we might as well go see what's down in this hole. And we should probably put a roof over our heads when we do, so stuff doesn't hop down at us. Okay, well, this is already exciting. We got some bauxite here that I can harvest. Fossil ore, basalt. Of course, basalt does not allow you to make any cool doors. Dang it. I guess there's nothing hidden under the magnanimous tree. I was hoping this was like a magnanimous dungeon or something down here. Not quite so much. Maybe we can at least find some iron. Oh, thank you, scary noise. I appreciate you letting me know it's nighttime now. I would have n had no idea. Okay, we seem to have opened into a cave. You can tell because there's a creeper here who's trying to get to me. Hello, a creeper. Well, that was a real success for him. Uh, let's see what else we got down there. We got some skeletons. Got a cool waterfall. Okay, that looks like a pretty sweet cave. I'm guessing it's full of creepers and mobs and stuff all the way down, though. So let's go ahead and be smart about how we approach this. We're going to go ahead and just kind of shovel around or double around. And I thought I saw some sort of ore right here. Yeah, there it is. So, this is my first tin ore. Maybe I'll get an achievement. No. No chin. No no a, a tin achievement. Tin is not a word that combines with achievement easily. Any mobs in our immediate future? No, we seem to be pretty okay right here. Okay, this is a pretty sweet cave. So there's a creeper on the mini-map near me, but I don't see him anywhere. Famous last words. Okay, there's our first iron, if we want it. Let's go ahead and make sure that we've covered our approach on both sides with torches, which we have not because I don't want something spawning behind me or running up behind me although this waterway here would probably do a pretty good job of keeping most mobs from coming up at me got more coal there, that's nice okay, I hear a spider somewhere wow, there's a lot of ore and stuff in here hear a spider, but I don't see him. What is that? 
Okay, we got some basalt, we got iron, yellow right. Okay. Well, I think I'm gonna, in the very least, grab some of these uh, coals real quick so I can make myself some torches. Gotta be strategical about this. We'll use the rest of this magnanimous wood because it is not gonna help us in our door quest. Okay, I hear you, spider. I hope you're not some sort of crazy kind of spider. Because I don't have any patience for crazy kinds of spiders. I want just normal, everyday, easily killable spiders. Hey, you look killable. Hey, I'm a monster hunter, just like in them Digimons. I am the champions. We've got some copper ore. More tin. Okay, wow, this cave is getting explored pretty rapidly. Hey, dude. I hope you enjoy being stabbed to death. Okay, that was a successful stabbing. It seems like if I just mine my way out of here, I'll have gathered a lot of stuff, which is a fortunate situation for me to be in, considering that I had no materials at all when I started this adventure. Well, that was a successful haul in all ways except for collecting things that would allow us to create doorways, which is most unfortunate as that was our intended goal for this adventure. So I'm going to go ahead and run home real quick, deposit this ore so I don't die with it all in my possession, and then make another run out here to the wilderness, perhaps in a different direction, in search of sufficient materials to construct a high quality door. Now that I've seen all these other pieces of wood that can make stairs that can't make logs, or, uh, sorry, now that I've seen that that cherry wood can make stairs but not, you know, doors, I'm kind of tempted to go ahead and try and craft uh, a new colorful stairwell. But I don't want to be the guy who just remakes the same stairwell every week. Although I am tempted to build other stairwells because there's stuff in every direction from spawn that's inconvenient to get to. And I mean, yeah, sure, we'll eventually have the nether, but the nether is never safe in any of these mod packs. Never fully safe, so there's always kind of an advantage to just walking. Although now that I think about it, whoa, a lot of these mod packs actually, uh, it's dangerous, or it's not dangerous to walk. The, um, they, uh, have the jetpacks, so everybody then just jetpacks around and we don't need stairs quite so much. Although I think having them is still helpful. Let's see, we had a herd of cattle up here. Oh, that's good, I actually need some leather so I can work on some, whoa, it's quicksand. Let's go ahead and, wow, there's a whole uh, herd. Let's get some uh, leather here so we can make books and things like that. Okay, two leather. It'll also be good for making them fancy boots in some of these mods. Oak wood. Dang it, everywhere I go, shucks, this is a shrub land. Hey, other cow. Enjoy being my leather for my boots. Okay, I'm gonna need at least one more leather to make fancy boots. I wanna make these, uh, I saw some sort of Tinker's Construct boots that looked cool. Let's see, everything over here is sheep. If we look at the, the big map real quick, so we're now, there's a creeper in there, a skeleton, this is all shrubland, so we don't want to be... Which, shrubland is basically just the same as everything else, but with oak wood. And a bunch of, like, low bushes, which is not too exciting. Let's run this way. Hopefully we can outpace the day and find a quick place to seek refuge. By which I mean I did not really uh, think this through in any way, shape, or form. And now I'm going to be running in quicksand in the dark. Or whatever that pit is. Okay, look, there's a hilly area up there I can flee to. Dang it, I should have gotten shears so I could make a bed. I've got all that iron cooking back at home, and I just did not think this through at all. So let's quickly hew ourselves into the hill here. Put down some dirt and create ourselves a nice little home. Time skip. 
As you can see, I've made it back to my stairwell here safely, and I've done a little bit of work on the wall. But this door, this is just normal, everyday birch. What a disappointment. Unfortunately, we couldn't get all the crazy wood we want to make the crazy wood doors. But what I realized is, I could take normal wood, surround it with a bunch of sticks, and then make carpenter blocks. Then, take the carpenter blocks, put them in the crafting station, and make carpenter doors. Let me show you how cool carpenter doors are. Ta-da! Look at that fancy door. Isn't that amazing? Well, what if I wanted it to look like something else? Hey, I got a marble carpenter door. That's pretty cool. I like that. Okay, so now let's say that I didn't want it to be uh, marble. I wanted it to be not obsidian totem or tile, but limestone. That doesn't work. Don't do that. That one was a waste of my time and yours. Hey, there's that too. What about log? Can I make it a log door? No. Okay, this this is good. Hey, you know what I could even do is make it a birch door. No, how does that not work? Really, you can't make a birch door with this. Can't make a birch door. Or maybe it's just because I already made it marble. It's like locked to marble. Well, anyway, let's say I don't like that one window there. I'm like, oh, that's a little weird. I don't know. Could do better. Let's go ahead and grab this hammer. Because if I only had a hammer, I'd hammer in the doorning. Hey, there it is. There's my door with a nice big glass window. Now, I can also go ahead and like make it more opaque or screen it in or glassy like that. Or hey, now it's perfect. So now nobody needs to know my house is right here. Although they probably will figure it out from the windows and the apparent stairs. Boom. There we go. That is the classiest glasslessness glassiest I don't know. It, it, it's, it's a wooden door we made with stuff we found on our adventure. The episode's over, and look, I'm not a complete failure. So, until next time, y'all, this is Joe Hills from Nashville, Tennessee. Keep adventuring. Hammer time. Can't touch this. Now you can't see it either. Bye bye No, that was terrible. Hey. Keep walking. Yeah. I've been watching too much of The Sopranos. Yeah. Okay. Keep... <laughs> this is getting out of hand. I gotta end this. Keep adventuring.